we should be subsidizing our farmers, and I do believe we should subsidize farmers, by the way. I don't think the answer is to go to a free market system in agriculture. We, it has never worked in any recorded civilization. Farming is, is subject to crises of overproduction um, that are just unavoidable. We can talk about that later if you want. Um, but what we should pay them for, again, is, to, is for fulfilling the interests of the public which we're not doing. We're out of phase. They were, they did a good job, they did what we asked them to do, now let's ask them for something else. And what should we ask them for? Well, the one big thing I would ask them for is sequestering carbon. Take the 700 million acres of farm and ranch land and manage it in such a way that it is taking carbon out of the air. Estimates are between 10 and 15 percent of all atmospheric carbon could be returned to the soil with sustainable agricultural practices. I'm delighted to hear Al Gore talking about this issue for the first time as, as part of the solution. Um, and there are ways we could do that. We have to learn how to measure carbon better. We have to figure out the best ways to do it. But we know rotational grazing, um, where you move the animals every day, produces huge amounts of carbon in the soil. I can explain how later. We know that organic agriculture compared to conventional agriculture builds up the carbon in the soil. We know how to do this. We have to figure out how to measure it and how to reward farmers for it. And one of my big concerns about this cap and trade scheme is that the first bill to emerge uh, from Henry Waxman's committee simply left agriculture out. We are not going to get a handle on climate change by ignoring agriculture, not when it represents a third of the problem. Why did they leave agriculture out? Because that's what big ag wanted them to do. They don't want to be involved. Because in addition to the carrots of paying farmers for sequestering carbon or generating you know, energy, um, you need uh, sticks as well. You need to take Tulare County, where vast amounts of methane and nitrous oxide are leaving these um, huge cattle confinement operations and make them pay for that in the same way that power plants are going to pay for their emissions. So, you need carrots and sticks in agriculture, and nothing could do more to drive the whole system change that we're talking about than that. Um, but